having an endless supply of apples. Good morning, modern steaders. Do you know what day today is? Today's Friday. Friday means modern steader update. Let's get an update on the Icelandic chicks and see how they're doing. I had to cut a piece of screen and cover them with screen because they kept flying out. These birds love to fly. Even with having these sides up, they were still flying up and out. They are doing great, very active, almost completely feathered out. We can get them outside soon. I think we're gonna have to think of some sort of chicken tractor for them for a while because all of our other ones are full. All the Icelandic chicks and chickens are doing great. I can't wait till we get our flock built up more so next spring we can be hatching out a lot of Icelandic chicks. You wanna go outside? You wanna go do the chores? You ready? Let's go! Let's check on Rufus and his two ladies. They're doing great as always. What are you doing Rufus? You got something to say? Well you want some food. I think you want some food. They have a nice high roosting pole. I don't know if you have ever seen the high roosting pole. The Icelandic chickens love to roost high. Gonna be gentle. Yeah, good boy. That's when you know you have a good rooster. This garden is just about gone by. We still have a few zucchinis growing. and some cucumbers. But at this point, they're getting old and they kind of get woody. But we can feed them to the chickens or the pigs if they're not anything good. Those squashes still want to flower. We've been having 90 degree weather here. Crazy. We got the leaves falling and it's been 90. It's just nuts. Sorry for all the noise in the background. There's some construction going on over here this morning, I guess. Sounds like somebody's running a chipper. The onions are starting to look like they're finishing up for the growing season. We'll be able to harvest these beauties pretty soon. We had one the other night with dinner. It was delicious. That one, the greens are falling over, so that one's ready. Strawberry plants are getting ready to tuck themselves in for winter. The corn, I'll have to feed that to the pigs soon before the, while we still have the pigs. Just start pulling up the garden, start feeding all this stuff to the animals. Everything's gone by. Except for our carrots are still doing good. The tomatoes keep our fingers crossed. We can ripen them up, keep an eye on the weather. If we have to, we'll pick them and bring them in the house and let them ripen on the windowsill. We've had an awesome year this year with our heirloom tomatoes. It is crazy. This has got to be one of our best years ever with tomatoes. And the peppers, we have one that's starting to turn orange. Be nice if they all got that way, but if not, we'll pick them. We'll keep an eye on the weather. It's been in the 90s, and now it's going to be in the 60s during the day, and in the low 30s at night. Fingers crossed, we'll keep our eye out, make sure we don't get any frost, and if we do, I'll have to bring these guys in. Let's go check on the outdoor kitchen. So we've gotten it set up in here a little bit. We've got our new Camp Chef flat top griddle. Works awesome. We have our stainless steel countertops. 
We have our adapter made for the stove to go from seven inch oval to eight inch. When I went to look for an adapter last week at the hardware store, they didn't have any seven to eight inch adapters, but they had a bunch of eight inch stove pipes. So I said, I don't need the stove pipe now. I'll order an adapter and I'll come back and get the stove pipe. I went back, got, went to go buy a stove pipe the other day. They were all out. What the heck? They had like 20 of them. So I ordered some stove pipe on Amazon. They should be here today or tomorrow. And then we can finish getting the wood cook stove hooked up and that'll be great. So let's be getting in the 30s at night lately. So we're gonna be needing that to keep this warm. I'm thinking especially for the hand hewn farm hog harvesting class we'll be doing at the end of October. If you wanna see the videos on us setting up the stainless steel benches and more on the grill, I'll put a link to those videos right here. The apple cider press is here waiting for us. I'll put a link to videos on the apple cider press here. Keeping our fingers crossed, we'll be able to make some cider this weekend. That's the plan. Good morning, pigs. How you doing? You enjoying the apples still? You look like you are. Here is the composting outhouse. It's looking nice. It's amazing how many leaves are on that roof already. Well, we got our windows in. There's more done on the inside. Those videos will be coming out tomorrow. So I'm not gonna show you the inside. If you wanna see what we're doing with the inside of the compost and outhouse, you have to watch tomorrow's video. So as you can see, the pigs are doing great. One more month and we'll be turning them into bacon and ham and pork chops and all that good stuff. But they have lived a happy, wonderful life, eating as much as they want, rooting as much as they want, having an endless supply of apples and feed, bright spots. They have turned this area into just to a nice area. This is all under an old heirloom New England apple orchard that we're restoring. So those trees next year should do amazing. You enjoying your apples? Converting them into pasture-raised bacon? Oh yeah, yep. Yep, bacon. We all love bacon. You know it. We all love our bacon. Got our nice little bench seat out here under the overhang. Enjoying the weather this last few days. I hope all the noise in the background isn't messing up the audio too much. If it is, I'm sorry, there's nothing I can do about all the chainsaws running in the background. Here is another one of our straw bale gardens that's doing amazing. Our spaghetti squash is doing really well. They're finishing up, we got another little one here. We got some white pumpkins. And I thought this was a buttercup squash, but it's turning orange. It must be a pumpkin. I don't know, crazy. We have potatoes growing in here. The potato plants have all gone by, so we need to start digging this up and get some potatoes out of here. We'll be doing that shortly. I'm looking forward to seeing what kind of harvest we're gonna get from our potato tower. We just put leaves in there and spent hay from our winter chicken coop. And the plants grew awesome. Keep our fingers crossed, we have a good harvest. If you wanna see some more Figaro, at the end of the video, I'm gonna be going to get Figaro, and we'll do an update on him. The purple cabbage and broccoli are doing awesome. Fingers crossed, we can get them to harvest time. They won't get killed by a heavy frost or anything, but they're looking nice.
The chickens are doing good. They're starting to eat some more of the apples, but they still have plenty of apples to eat. Keep the chicken safe. I opened a new bag of grain this morning and I noticed it's different. It's more coarse, it's not pellets, and I'm seeing like a lot of seeds in there. I like that. I think the girls will like it too. Actually, the ones that are getting this are all the males. This is for the meat birds. I think the guys will like it too, I should say. You can see where we've been running the meat birds, the tractors. That's where in between the rows is still tall grass and they're eating the rest down and they're doing a great job. And then back there you can see the grass is already growing back, nice and green from all the nitrogen. Look at all the leaves that have fallen. And it's been in the 90s. It's just crazy. Before you know, I'll have to be putting that on the truck and bringing that in the house. Since it's so noisy outside, I didn't get to talk about a few things I wanted to with the chickens and a couple of things. So let's talk about that and then we'll go see Figaro. So one thing is, is I was telling you, the new grain, it smells just so good. There's a lot of sunflower seeds in there and you can really smell them. I don't know what the difference is, but it's the same brand. It was the same. I asked for the same stuff I normally get. It's in the same bag. Hmm. The other question we've been getting a lot lately is, wow, your meat birds are growing so much faster than ours. What do you do? Our meat birds are heritage meat birds. We bought the frying pan special from Cackle Hatchery. Uh, a couple of, about a month ago, a month and a half ago now. They've been on pasture their whole life, ever since they've been feathered out. We move them one to two times a day to fresh grass, depending on how much they eat. They always have access to plenty of clean, fresh water, and we make sure that they have feed almost 24 hours a day. If they run out during the night, I'm sorry, they'll get some in the morning. But other than that, they have feed for them 24 hours a day. It's not like a Cornish cross where you want to take the feed away from them every 12 hours. We want to keep the feed to them because they are slower growing and they've been growing amazing for us. We did the same thing for our Bod Rock meat birds that we did and they're in the freezer and they are our favorite chicken to be eating right now. We enjoy those over the broilers. They just have so much more flavor. I 
We put a new door in the house too. I'll put a link to that video right here. But that's the sliding barn door we installed. We keep Figaro locked up in the bathroom. This is his safe zone and we're not home. And this is where he likes to sleep. Oh, how are we doing Figaro? You tired? He's being camera shy. And we've got our gate area set up in our bathroom closet high enough up off the ground so he can get under there, use his kitty litter, and he's got his food and water in here and a bed. If he needs to get away from this lady, he can. And he loves it right there in the corner. We have a fellow modern stutter that has a YouTube channel. His YouTube channel is offgrid.se. His name is Andre. As you guys probably see him commenting all the time on the videos. He's a great modern stutter. I want to say thank you for that, Andres. And he's got his YouTube channel and he's almost at 1,000 subscribers. He made a great video the other day. His vi all his videos are great. I'll put a link to his channel right here. He's trying to get to 1,000 subscribers and he's going to be doing a knife giveaway. So go on over, check his site out, say hi to a fellow modern stetter, and don't forget to subscribe while you're there. The pigs say you better subscribe. Right, Mrs. Pigs? It's been crazy hectic around here and we got some more great videos. So if you're not already subscribed, go on down there right now and hit the subscribe button. Hit the little bell button while you're down there and that'll turn on notifications and let you know every time we upload a new video. It's been crazy busy. We haven't been able to do all of the normal fall stuff around the homestead. I want to make sure we're set up and ready to go for the hand hewn farm three day pig harvesting class. I can't wait to be learning some new skills and learning how to take care of our own meat and preserve it, making our own meat sticks and oh it's going to be great. It just gets me hungry thinking about making our own bacon and oh. So I want to make sure we're set up good here. We're going to have plenty of more great videos coming out. We're finishing up the outhouse. We got to get the antique wood cook stove finished hooked up. We got the back that's got to go on it. We got to make some apple cider. We got to harvest our potatoes in the potato tower. The list just goes on and on. We're going to have so much great content coming out. We're working on getting our We're working on getting the breakfast pizza recipe up on our website. If you haven't checked out our website, it's www.lumnaacres.com, right? Who would have guessed? I know, pretty original. I'm going to leave a link to that right here in the description down below. There's always great content we're putting out over there too. I'm going to be putting more and more of our recipes on that site. If you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it. It's really helping the channel grow. And don't forget to check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.